I have spent a lot of time talking about numbers. This is only because I realize how students find it so difficult to differentiate different form of numbers. So in today's tutorial, I'm going to talk about prime numbers and composite numbers. What are these numbers? Prime numbers together with composite numbers form a set of natural numbers greater than one. Why do we say greater than one? I will explain it later. We all know natural numbers. They are the set of counting numbers in that order. But prime together with composites gives us the set of natural numbers greater than one. So we have two, three, four, five, six, seven in that order. So how can we differentiate prime numbers and composite numbers? Let's start with prime numbers. We say prime numbers are those numbers that have two factors, one and themselves. But if we talk about one, one is not a prime because from definition, we say it has two factors. Uh, two numbers you can multiply together to get that number but one we do not have any number that we can multiply one with to give us one apart from one and one and one are the same numbers so the smallest prime number is two because two has one and two as it factors factors in another word are those numbers that can go into that number without remainder Secondly, we have three because three also have two factors, one and three. Four is not prime because four has one as a factor, two as a factor, four as a factor, so it has three factors. Moving on, we have five. There is no any other number that can go into five without remainder except one and itself. So five is also a prime number. Moving on, we have six. Six has one, two, three, and six as it factors. So it has four factors. So it is not considered as a prime. But we have seven. Seven is a prime because seven has only one and seven as the factors of seven. Moving on, we have eight. It is not a prime because it has one, two, four, and eight. Moving on, we have nine. Nine is not a prime because nine has one, three, nine. Moving on, we have 10. 10 has one, two, five, and 10. Moving on, we have 11. 11 has only two factors, one and 11. These are the only two numbers that can go into 11 without remainder. So 11, you consider it as a prime. If you keep on going, you meet others. What about composite numbers? We say composite numbers are those numbers that have more than two factors. All these numbers have two factors. Any other number falls under composite number. We have two, two is already here, three is already here, four is not here, so we consider it. So what we call these composite numbers, they are just the complement of the prime numbers. When we say complement of prime numbers, we mean all those numbers that are here but are absent here so we have four five is already here six is absent so we consider six as a composite number already you know composite numbers are those numbers that have more than two factors six is inclusive seven is already a prime eight is composite nine is composite 10 is also composite because they all have more than two factors. Moving on, we have 12. 12 has one, two, three, four, six, and 12, six factors. So it is a composite number in that order. So the difference between them, let me repeat. Prime numbers have only two factors. Composite numbers, have more than two factors. If you combine them together, you obtain natural numbers greater than one because one has only one factor, which is one, 
This is an assignment for your kids. Let them write down all the prime numbers and composite numbers between 1 to 100. Thank you for watching. Do have a nice day.